these models like in the Bahamas. The most insane festival the world has ever seen. Island getaway turned disaster. It became very barbaric. Right now, we are the fucking laughing stock of everything. Just wait until you see what you're getting yourselves into. American rapper Ja Rule is in the Bahamas with his business partner. Billy McFarlane is an amazing entrepreneur. He can convince anyone of pretty much anything. They just bought an island. Pablo Escobar's island. Oh my god. We're gonna throw a festival, yeah. Within 48 hours, they sold out. These guys are either completely full of shit or they're the smartest guys in the room. We were working around the clock, no sleep. Billy's like, bring more workers. We need more workers. Every single day, it got more tense. He just would not take no for an answer. And he just kept pulling money in somehow. Desperate people do desperate things. He was lying to investors and making it seem like we were making a ton of money when we weren't. I mean, that's fraud. We need to get the messaging out now that this is not a luxury music festival. Oh my God. There's mattresses all over the place getting soaked. The save yourself mode kicked in. Right, it's a free for all. It became this looting mentality. There's an angry mob, they're pissed off and they want their money. Powerful models built this festival. And then one picture of cheese on toast ripped down the festival. They just couldn't physically fit that many people on the island. The event's co-founder is facing up to 20 years in prison. Oh, if you had thousands of dollars to go on a trip to see Blink-182, that's on you. That is Darwinism at its finest. <laughs> The biggest event in a decade, I promise you. I'll be there.